everyone welcome back to my youtube channel the lord show african fashion and styles today i'll be doing a tutorial on a butterfly dress with elastic on the waist or on that bust that's where you have the elastic just a simple butterfly dress that's what i'll be doing the tutorial for today please if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so on this you can see for yourself so i will be using pattern paper for the tutorial so what you need is your sewing materials and the right measurement so the first thing you do on this tutorial is to get your your bust line and then your under bust line and the shoulder measurement so on this uh, pattern paper i'll be using the exact paper measurement which is 20. that is what i'll be using so it depends on your measurement how big you want your butterfly dress to look like so that depends on you you take your shoulder measurement you fold your fabric into two then into four so on this tutorial i'll be using 20. then you take your under bust measurement which i use 15. just mark out this is your under bust measurement draw a straight line remember this is pattern paper and for the ham hole i will be using nine which i already mark out you mark out the ham hole line draw a straight line and then take your bust measurement the bust measurement for this uh, butterfly dress is a uh, 40 and the waist measurement is a uh, 36 and on the waist measurement, I will be adding 6 inches to it in order to get the elastic uh, shape and the perfect uh, shape for the dress. You go over to the neckline. On this neckline, I will be using 3 for the neckline and then 1 for the depth, back and front first. Then you just... of it that's the neckline now that's the neckline so here we got the bust measurement which was 40 and this is the under bust line so the next thing you do is to you know take your ruler just give it an a curve shape done mark it down like so this on that bust here this is where we are going to fix the elastic the elastic line so what you do is to take from the under bust you take two inches and then mark a straight line that's where you are going to sew with your elastic thread or you fix the elastic band you no know? You can also use this if you can't you know that's it so in between here this is where you are going to sew you use, use half inch you mark with half inch to sew the lines half inch half inch so this is where you are going to fix also with elastic thread this is where you are going to sew with a uh, elastic uh, thread
so this is where you are going to fix the band or sew with elastic thread you can see the way one two three four the four lines so this is where you are going to sew so another important thing on this tutorial is for you to get the back part measurements accurate so what you do is very simple you just mark take it up like this mark mark and then mark then you turn over in order for you to get the lines then you mark us the back part remember you are going to sew the front of your fabric then you mark out this way remember you are going to sew in between here this is where you fix the band okay and then take this very part again just pin down and then mark out you pin down and then mark out okay then draw a straight line now we have the back and the front panel okay so this is where you fix your band and the next thing you do you go over to the base and then give it a curve shape and on this base i will be using three in order to go get the the curve shape you just like so and then you cut out then cut out the neckline link long the shoulder and the mid part of the dress okay So this is the part we are going to sew this is where you are going to sew on the front panel of your dress straight down this is where you are going to sew to get the butterfly shape you can open with five inch on the down part you can open depends on what you want okay so let's open to cut out the front neck so I'll be using four for the neck the depth four for the neck and then curve Remember, this is pattern paper. So, on the neckline, you can use bias to run the neck, which is more better and beautiful. So the first thing you do is to cut out the length of the dress depending on what you want then take the shoulder measurement your bust measurement and your under bust measurement so the first thing i will do now is to take the shoulder measurement and for the shoulder measurement i will be using 24 for the shoulder remember i said butterfly dress with elastic on the waist 
that is the shoulder now okay so the next thing i will do is to take my bust measurement and the bust for this dress is 50 and i'll be using 12.5 and there i will be adding one inch extra that's it for the bust and for the ham hole i will be using nine for the ham hole i will be using nine this is where you have your ham hole i will be using nine for the ham hole you can also use ten depending on individual measurement so the next thing i'll be doing is to take the under bust measurement and for the under bust measurement i will be using 14. this is the under bust measurement now which is very important this is the bust line just mark out the lines this is where you fix the elastic this is the under bust this is the ham hole line so where you fix the elastic it depends on what you want you can use the white uh, elastic and you can also use the elastic thread and you can use the smaller elastic depends on what you want so the next thing you do is to take your bust measurement and your waist measurement and on this tutorial i will be adding six inches to the waist measurement in order to get the the elastic shape perfectly and the butterfly dress shape properly so i will be adding six inches to it and the next thing you do is to take your connecting ruler and draw an a-shaped line straight down just take it down So the next thing I will do is to give it a curve shape. And then cut out the wide parts. This is where I got the shoulder. Then the next thing is to take the neckline. So on this, I will be using three for the neck and one inch for the depth back and front remember to always lynch this is the shoulder you launch and the center part you launch so what i'll be doing next is to cut the front neck so on this front neck i will be using four because I already used one inch and then curve so the next thing I'll do is to use bias to run the neck so the next thing I will do is to open my fabric both the front and the back panel, pin them together, mark out the lines again, the boss line, the ham o line, and the under boss line, and then take two inches from the other boss line, that's where you fix the elastic, in order for you to have the butterfly dress shape. And then on the neckline, I will be using elastic to run the neckline. Then go over to the machine and use overlocking machine to run the base
I'm true with the butterfly dress with elastic on the waist tutorial for today. You can see the way it comes out so beautiful. Please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. You can follow me on my Facebook page, African Fashion and Styles, and on my Instagram page, African Fashion and Styles. I will see you on my next tutorial. Please stay safe. Bye-bye.